Hello and welcome to episode 10. This is the season fucking finale of the first season of The Humble Onion. The first one we did was the hot chicken. I figure we're gonna finish it with hot chicken. We're gonna put some bookends on our season, our book, book, bookends on our first season. People stop me in the streets and they say, Chris, is your hair real? And I say, yes. And they say, how do you bone out a chicken? And I say, I'm glad you asked because that's what we're doing today. Intro of the year. So, <laughs> we're boning the chicken. When you can break the chicken down the way I'm gonna show you, there's no need to cook a chicken any other way again. Unless you're doing a different recipe. <laughs> we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna do one half for you in like real time and I'll show you how easy it is to get the side off and then we'll slow down and we'll do it again. Get a boning knife. It's so much easier when you have the right piece of equipment. So first thing we're gonna do is take the wingtips off. Keep those. Do both sides at once. Very easy. Next, you wanna find the breastbone here that's running down the middle, it's a bit of cartilage. We're gonna come straight down the side of that. Okay, now really easy. See how I've got the wishbone here. All we're gonna do is separate from the rib cage. Pop the Maryland out there. And then between here, this bit here is like the, uh, the hip, I guess you wanna think of it. So all you're doing is cutting from there, straight through, and that is half a chicken off the chicken. I'm gonna show you on this side as well. So we're just gonna come on the other side of the breastbone. And then just follow the rib cage along. Pop the Maryland. Look, you're separating. See these two knuckles here? You gotta get a shot of that one. Just right in between there. You got your chicken frame. You can poach that um, and pick it down if you wanted to, uh, but definitely you can use it for, um, for stock. What we're gonna do now is just clean everything off. So anything on here that we're not too, too keen for, get rid of. And that one there. I'll do the same on this one. Yeah, that one's too sharp. And then I'll show you how to take the thigh bones out. Easy. If you cook it like this now, all right, the, um, the breast is gonna dry out before the leg is cooked. The breast you really wanna to cook to about 60, 61 degrees, but the leg on the bone, you gotta take way past that because it's just not a very nice texture even when the meat's like just set against the bone. So if people think it's raw, it's not, but it's just not cooked far enough. So um, I'm gonna show you how to take these bones out. It's very easy. So the bone runs from here down here, okay? So it's a really simple L shape. All we're gonna do is just follow the bones, okay? So it's always just exposing the bone, it's never really, uh, it's not such a big thing. Just always push against the bone so you can feel that. I'll turn it around so you can see it. So you can see where the bones are in from here, down here, it's very easy. Always move the piece of meat to suit yourself. Don't start spinning around giving it this shite. I'm gonna come from this end and just take the top off the thigh bone there and through here as well. So I'm just like holding that apart and just along the side there. I'm gonna come down the other side of this one and just expose more of the knuckle. Now the only, it's not even tricky, the only little bit where you could leave meat behind without just sort of taking, because you see how feckin' clean these are. There's no waste there, mate. So you come, come under here and just get that away. So that's nice and clean. And now the knuckle, obviously, or the, the joint here, 
We just want to be working around that. That's the only place where we can potentially leave a little bit of meat on. But just little, little bits, and we're around the knuckle, okay? And then just come down the back of the, the drum, take that off at the bottom, and that's it. Couldn't do much of a cleaner job than that, I reckon. Now all we're ever doing is just tidying up, just anything that looks, you know, unsavory. But this looks very, very good. Super easy. And now I've got a lovely boneless bird. And how long has this taken? This is literally one of the ones where I say, it only takes two seconds, but it really is very, very easy. Um, and once you know how to do this, I mean, for two people, it's a really great meal. This was a free range chicken. Um, and still cost me, you know, 15 fucking dollars, man. Like, come on. What's important, you see the tenderloin down here. If you've done a nice job of butchering your chicken, the tenderloin will still be attached to the bird, so that's really good. Um, if you just fold this over, this ensures that the breast isn't higher than the thigh. Otherwise, we're gonna have to um, either overcook this to make sure the breast is cooked, or by the time that this is perfect here, everywhere else is gonna be past what we want. So as long as it's nice and even like it is there, and you can see on this one, it's nice and, um, nice and flat, but you can see on this one, the breast is much higher than the thigh. Okay, and that's the reason that we do that. I'm gonna show you how to cook the chicken in a pan. We're calling this scene chicken in a pan. Um, I have this, this is just for flavor, a little aromat, and uh, same with some garlic. The butter is very necessary though for cooking it. Most important thing is time in the pan on the stove before we go in the oven. This whole process, he doesn't even stand anymore, he just sits behind the camera. The whole, pro <laughs> the whole process, it's honestly, it's only gonna be about 15 minutes to cook these from start to finish, okay? Uh, and then a little bit of time for resting. Seven or eight of those minutes at least are gonna be spent up here and then just a few minutes in the oven and then we're gonna give it a nice butter roll and, uh, and that's about it. All right, so without further ado, if you can, do this the day before or in the morning. In the morning it'd be good as well if you were gonna have it for tea. Um, and let the skin dry out because the drier you get the skin, um, the less water there is to render out in the pan and the crispier the skin goes. So we're gonna give it a really good seasoning. Is this salt on the chicken? Mate, this is salt. All right, none of that. I once put sugar on something, okay? I'm gonna salt the skin. <laughs> salt it well. Okay, season well. A bit more. Pans on. This is rice bran oil. Um, look, considerable oil. I want the skin to be under the oil, okay? Because look, this isn't a smooth surface, so maybe these little bits here are all getting good contact with the pan but this little bit in the middle just stays like this sort of chicken skin that doesn't feel very nice. So we wanna make sure it's all nice and consistent. I wanna put a little oil on my bird as well. The oven is preset to 190 degrees. Once our oil's looking very lovely and warm, with the knuckle, this bit here, away from us. Look at that. So it's already not sticking, which is great. But we're not gonna move it around. We're just gonna leave it there. Great shot of me just leaving it there. Bit of garlic. Flavoring our oil. We're getting it 80% of the way there in this step here on the skin, okay? Oh, it's gonna go on the oven skin side down. It's gonna come out. Then we're gonna flip it. We're gonna rest it. We're gonna go back in the pan <laughs> to crisp in that skin for the final 20% and it's gonna be fucking creme brulee. So you see how the whole end of the, the little knuckle wing tip, we'd call it a wing tip, is under the oil here. So we know that even hiding under the armpit of the chicken is gonna be crispy, okay? Crispy pits. Um, so just before we go into the oven, what we're gonna do is just put some rosemary in there. Grew this in my very own garden. And then we're gonna throw some butter in there, some on the stove, some in the pan. Ooh, now it's in the oven, are you ready? Now it's in. Set your timer for five minutes. So we're gonna pull this mother out of the oven. Oh, lush. So you see how this is still soft, but we know that it's cooked on the bottom because it's been in the pan for such a long time with all the heat directed from the bottom up. So what we're gonna do is just give it a good, 
A good buttering. Oh, now it's feeling good. And hot. Oh. oh. Get the fuck out of here. So she's just going to finish off on that side. And now we're just going to leave it to rest. Garnish. You want to rest your chicken for like, give it 10 minutes. We're going to go back in the pan with the chicken uh, before we serve anyway, to give it some more butter love um, and just finish that skin off. Put a little bit of oil in the pan. These are shiitakes um, from the mushroom guys. So we're going to sear these up. A little salt. Once these are looking good, I'm going to go in with some mustard. This is hot English mustard. Then we're going to go in with some white wine. <laughs> Any wine will do. Okay, we want to reduce it at least that far. And we'll turn the heat back up. Lovely. Now we're going with our chicken stock. I reduce this because I make my chicken stock from my frames. That's really easy to do if you want. If not, just buy the salt reduced and then you can bring it down and you'll get this. Mushrooms, mustard, wine, stock. The wine bit, I can't move just that finger. Could be sherry, could be brandy, could be, you know what I mean? You know how we do this. Red wine, white wine, doesn't fucking matter. It's all just a different flavor. There's no wrong. Once this is up to the boil, we're gonna do a process. It's called monte au beurre. Thickening with the butter. Because of the acid in the wine, it emulsifies the butter into the stock, which is pretty cool. And that's how we get this thick, glossy, delicious sauce. So we'll turn it down. And we should start going in with butter. And it's just gonna get thicker and thicker and thicker and butterier and, and just wonderful. More butter. As we say here at The Onion, more butter, more better. And this is all real time while our chicken rests over here. Look at him resting. These incredible juices. Oofed. Much better. Well, until she's nice and thick, really. That's about it. Because it depends how much you've reduced down your chicken stock and then how much you add and all those things as well. So we really just want that consistency. But a fair bit, this really is how you make restaurant food taste. So good. People say, chef, this doesn't taste more good. I say, just put more butter in it. I'm just gonna simmer this in there at the end. A little bit of salt. Beautiful, and look at this texture. Look at the consistency on this. All that is left to do, we're gonna get some melt butter in this pan. I'm gonna put some more garlic in because it smells and tastes good. Have a feel of this, so look at this, right? This is how we know that this is just gonna be lush, okay? Because it just pushes back, it's just springy. Yes. All right, that's going back in there. These juices and everything can just go in here. And then, you know what we like to do, just to finish that skin off well. I'm so in love with you from breaking my heart. We're gonna carve. Okay, there's only one chance for this. This is why I love our show, I'm not joking. This is the only chicken I've cooked. There's, there's not seven other chickens. If I cut into this and it looks like dog shit. <laughs> All right. First place we're gonna cut is right here because if it's, if it's under anywhere, it's gonna be right behind here. So here we go. It's not too bad. We're gonna cut through it all, oh my God. Look at this. Look at the succulents. Beautiful. So we get this bad boy down on the plate there. And spoon our shiitake and hot English mustard sauce all over. And she's done. What do we reckon? The last eating of the season. 10 episodes. I'm so proud. Thanks. Fuck yeah. That is really good chicken. Guys, this is the only way you ever need to cook chickens. Everyone asks me, how do you do that? How do you do what you do so well? You know? <laughs> Guys, thank you. Thank you so much. 10 in episodes. We're gonna start making weird episodes, different ones. We're still gonna do some stuff here as well, but we're getting out of this room. So if you want us to come to you, let's talk about it. Like, subscribe, love us. Like, subscribe, love us. No, I don't need you to love me, but I want you to. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
Crispy Pits.